Well, there's the 756 sitting there on the edge of the field. What's it doing there? Well, let's walk around the back and see if something fishy's going on. Oops! I did it again. I've just about got this 411 hooked up and uh, took a lot of finagling because as I said, you new viewers aren't going to know this, but these are not even as they come out. They're not even, so I have to adjust these handles to get them even to go in. And then, to make matters worse, there's no depth wheel on this or trail wheel assembly. So once I get to the field, I'm gonna have to readjust those according to depth and use the draft control. That's, that's my only hope for plowing even Steven. And boy, I can tell the way it's sitting already. <laughs> this one here is gonna have to come down once I get to the field. Um, yeah, we're, we're high. Got nothing to lose. Doesn't work, I drag it out of the field. Does work? Well, I got lucky. Well, and I'm still struggling and straining with this thing. And this is what it's all about right here. Right there. You know, I go to lock that down. And we're, I mean, it might be a quarter inch off. And I've even tried pushing back into this tree. And uh, I don't know, I'm going to try lower in this and try to level it more I, I i don't know i don't know get it lower so it's going in more smoothly but we ain't plowing if that clip ain't on there i can tell you that it will come out or bend or something bad will happen not that something bad won't happen anyway i'm just saying yeah that's what it looks like yeah so it's about as good as i'm gonna get for transport probably four or five inches um, they're nowhere near level I'll do that once I get to the field but uh, hi hi camera guy and uh, probably higher here by about three inches that's that's not a good thing the ideal plowing depth for this plow is seven inches and I think I got it pretty much set up on two and these guys are gonna want to go about four so four and seven that's not even. Remember, if things are different, they're not the same. Setting the colder is kind of a no-brainer. I mean, you got two bolt holes here, two there, there, there. So as far as where they go front to back, that's already set up for you. Now, I measured the height as to what's left, and they're all even. Whether they're accurate or not as far as where they should be, I don't know. I've never plowed with this plow, so there's a lot of unknowns here. Well, we'll just line up with this furrow. Turn some dirt off. <laughs> uh, you know, my mom always said when I was a kid, she says, you know, one day, you know, you'll, you'll mature and you won't joke around and you won't this and you won't that and you won't that and you won't this. And yeah, I'm still waiting. What gear to go in? Let's say you. We'll go low four. That'll work.
really hard plowing, man. It just is. I think this becomes, uh, you know, I think it becomes a parts plow. You know, I just use this for parts and get another one with the proper setup or just get the parts and put on this. But either way, I can tell you, this, uh, this setup right here is the way it is. Ooh. It's, it's, it's definitely rough. And man, we're coming really close to that tire. I mean, I can see why they said 12 inch tires now. And uh, this probably needs slid out all oh, about two inches, truthfully, to plow. But yeah, they polish, but that's about all they are. I mean, man, we must have been going. Well, I walk over there real quick. You know, when I first when I first put it in the ground. We were probably going about a foot and a half. I mean, I was digging to the other side of the earth, digging to China. It was bad. I couldn't keep. Yeah, that's 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 deep. I mean, you can see the mound right here, and I don't know. That's probably two foot from there to there. So I was probably I at least digging down you know, 12, 14, 16 inches. And it's really hard to control with four bottoms because I don't have a depth wheel. I don't even have a trail wheel assembly on this. It most definitely needs one. Uh, I think a trail wheel assembly would solve probably 60% of the battle even without a depth wheel. So either way, got the tractor shut off and I'm trying to make sense of this and really the only thing that I can think of is I am going to get another one of these plows uh, the four bottoms and you know these plows ain't worth very much the sum of their parts are worth about four to five times what the entire plow is you know by the time you take all four cultures these are just beautiful cultures couldn't buy better ones if they were new and then the mold boards. Um, this apparatus up here is so messed up, it's not even funny. Ooh, the bugs. I mean, and I am talking a ton of them. Don't know if you can see them on camera, but they just mysteriously showed up. Um, but this apparatus here needs fixed and this and that. I'd have to go out and get the, find the other parts, dig them up. Um, yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to peel the, all these off. Peel the cultures off, even the brackets. I'll just, I'll just blue wrench those those bolts. No big deal. Um, you know, and a lot of people are like, well, yeah, but I mean, we need to, we need to salvage as much as as these as we can. It's my job to salvage one. <laughs> you know, if you you want to get into the salvaging business and and collecting business, I, I'll do my share one 
and uh so anyways i'm beat the snot so i'm going in the house i'm gonna jump in the shower and that's probably tmi baby boom i'll see you at the next video we're gonna get that h hooked up those little discs the mighty unknowns